Hey everybody, what's good? It's Jax. I'm back and welcome to another episode of All Jack Stuff. Now look, if you you need a bit of escapism, you just want to laugh for a little bit, that's what I'm here to do, okay? So make sure you hit that subscribe button, comment down below, let me know that you're checking it out, and like the video, share it with your family, share it with your friends. I think it is time to start the show. <laughs> Calling all cars, calling all cars. We need the grammar police on the scene because it is time for... What did you say? You ain't keeping your man, man. If I was happy, we wouldn't be having this argument. I have not kept you happy no. when I gave you my own. And this is still giving me a headache. Look, I'm going to give it to you like I gave it to you on the last episode. There is no such word as gaven. Got it? No! Tell me about kicking the dog. Slap him in the face. I'd love to, Your Honor. November 22nd, the day after her birthday, uh, she came over to my house at 5.30 something in the morning. She literally stampled over my roommate's daughter. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Word merge alert. Okay. Stumbled and trampled equals stampled. <laughs> Look, if it's a good word merge, I'm not mad at it, okay? It's just a time saver. The oldest president of all time. No handshakes, just fish bumping. The oldest president of all time, just fish bumping. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I don't know about you, but that just paints a picture that I just, I can't unsee. <laughs> a lot of folks are also wondering about uh, larger groups. What did you say? A lot of folks are also wondering. Wait, what? A lot of folks, a lot of folks, a lot of folks are also wondering. Ah, <laughs> Kate McKinnon. Sneaky, sneaky. You got away with that one on live TV. But I bet you that's something Dr. Fauci wish he had the opportunity to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paying the consequences for it right now. Consequences? Dude, you are a full grown man and you should know how to say that word. No, I really messed up. Yes, you did. I get that. Okay, so then I'm gonna need you to try a little harder in the future. Okay? Okay. <laughs> You should accept me whether I like men at the time or women or whatever I like. You should accept me for me. It doesn't matter if I, you know, I'm LG, you know what I'm saying? He's LG, so like, what is it, LG, how you say LGBT. It? He's LGBT, so um, what does that mean exactly? What does it mean exactly? What century are you living in where you don't know what LGBTQIA2S plus stands for? Let me break it down real quick. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer or questioning, intersex, asexual or ally, and 2S has recently been added, which represents two-spirited. This is something indigenous people use to describe their sexuality or gender. And the plus stands for inclusivity. Are we good? Yeah. Very. The cool thing about Esther and Fessy being partners is that even though me and Fessy are in a bad spot, me and Esther have a really good bond. And just her energy and her positivity and just her vibes is just so good to be around. And I kind of just like gravitate towards her whenever she's in her room. Did you just say gravitate? I'm done. Hi, my name is Katrina and I'm from the law firm of No Dinero. And parati. Have you injured yourself in a fall? We are here to help. Have you fallen in a grocery store? Have you fallen off of a surfboard? A scooter? Or maybe even a bike? Have you fallen off of a fence? A ladder? How about through a roof? Did you fall at work? Did you fall at work again? Did you injure yourself in a fall at a construction site? 
Did you fall off of a jackhammer? Well, here at No Dinero and Para Ti, we're here to help pick you up again, even if you fall off your heels. So remember, if you're injured in a fall, don't hesitate. Just call 1-800-DON'T-FALL. That's 1-800-DON'T-FALL. It's 1-800-JUST-1-800, just 1-800-DON'T-FALL. Just call, don't fall. All right, everybody, we are back, and it is time for my next segment. Are you for reals? In this edition of Are You For Reals, we are pouncing into the animal kingdom, because, you know, they can always be fun. (laughs) So let's see how pets and their humans get to spend quality, creative time together. (laughs) Oh no, no. why are you smelling it anyway? <laughs> okay, so we all know that they can sing together. I wonder if they can really do a cha cha cha. hard enough feeding myself. You think you're going to eat me out of house and home, you big butt bear dog? But look, at the end of the day, I am a true dog lover. And this next reel, well, it just reels me in. It hits me close to home. Check it out. I miss you, Butters. That's it, y'all. That's all she wrote. You are all jacked up. That went by pretty quickly, didn't it? (laughs) Look, before you go, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Comment below. I do engage. Make sure you share this video. Share it with your family. Share it with your friends. Watch it on the toity. I don't care. (laughs) Just be here, all right? Don't forget, hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single solitary episode of All Jack Stuff. Now, I'm going to go. I'll see you in the next episode. But before I do, I'm going to leave you with this PSA of sorts. <laughs> All right. Stay safe out there. Get vaxxed if you aren't. Until I see you the next time. It's from the ER. You should get vaccinated. Yes, of course, you can still get COVID-19 even if you're vaccinated. The same way you can still get pregnant if you use birth control, and the same way you can still die from a car accident if you use a seatbelt. But that doesn't mean you're not going to use the birth control or the seatbelt. The vaccine is not a cure, motherfuckers. It is a layer of protection. Up to 95%. 95% is not 100%. They've been telling you this since day one. You can still get COVID-19 even if you're vaccinated. We didn't kill the virus. It's still very much there. But the vaccine helps protect you from developing severe symptoms from the virus, so you don't die. It also reduces the risk of you spreading the virus, so other people don't die. Did you think about that? Of course not, you selfish fuck. There are people around the world who would give up their left nut for a vaccine shot, and you're worried that it's some government scheme to microchip and track you? They're tracking you through your phones, motherfuckers! Get your vaccine shots! Y'all be good.